Good evening, Instagram. How y'all doing out there in Instagram land? Julio, Chineski, Kaklanison, Minnie's Bar BK, Killing the Kimmy, and a whole slew of other people. Hello, 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 and welcome to Instagram's most popular game show. We like to call it <clears throat> Five Questions. Yay! I'm your host, Game Show Craig. Thanks again for coming in, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, getting ready to get your five questions in. As Julio says, it is the best part of Monday, so who and or Ray that I am a part of your Monday evening. Hello, Eloise. Great to see you again. Uncle Craig says hi. Here's what us Uncle Craig says, how to play tonight's game. I will ask you a series of questions. Of course, you have to give me the correct answer to those questions to earn points based on how we spin this wheel. And any player that does get to seven points during tonight's game of the five questions will win tonight's prize, which of course is a shout out on the Game Show Craig Instagram channel. And I'm quite sure that's something all of you out there in Instagram land would really enjoy. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, I hope so. Music is changing, spinner finger is warm. Let's get tonight's game started with question number one in five questions. Uh, my finger's all over the place, but hopefully this finger right here will hit that, the seven. Let's spin the wheel. Round and round the wheel goes where it stops. Hopefully somewhere good. By the seven, also looks like by the six, will it be four? Come on, four. It's four, all right. Question number one will be worth four points. The rest of the rules. I'll read off a question. As soon as you think you know what the answer is, I want you to type it in on your typing devices. The first correct answer that I see with my four eyes will earn the points. And as always, spelling does not count. However, if, spe uh, if spell check does change your answer to something completely different, then that's on you. Got it? Good. That's right, spelling doesn't count. Yeah, well, I have to figure out what you're trying to say. All right, so if that said, is everybody ready? First questions were four points, ladies and gentlemen. Hands on your typing devices, and here comes the clue. Ahem. The New York City borough called the Bronx takes its name from Jonas Bronk, the first European settler in the area. Bronk moved to this landmass in 1639 from what European country? No word on whether or not he also made meatballs. Dutch, no. Good guess though. Read it off again, New York City borough called the Bronx takes its name from Jonas Bronk, France, wrong. The first European settler in the area. Bronk moved there in 1639. Denmark is wrong. From what European country? Holland, no. No word on whether or not he also made meatballs. Italy, no. Sweden, yes. That's the correct answer. Yes, Sweden is the correct answer because we all love those Swedish meatballs from the Ikea. And that's where the meatball clue should have uh, clued you into. So yes, Jonas Bronk from Sweden, first European settler in the Bronx, or the area now known as the Bronx. And way to go, treetop lover. Four points for getting that correct. Jazz fingers to you. Uh, for those of you wondering, Holland, I believe that is not Sweden. So we can't give you that for that, ladies and gentlemen. Four points to treetop lover, who and or Ray. Let's keep the trivia game going with question number two in tonight's game of five questions. We got four more of those fun facts for you. Hopefully you know them. A big four points to Treetop Lover. Will he win tonight's game? I don't know, but it could happen with this spin. Okay. Question number two is worth five points. Here's what that means. Treetop Lover, you could win. Everybody else, you're trying to get on the scoreboard. Question number two is gonna be worth five points. Hands on any typing devices, and here comes the clue. Ahem. In 1993, the town of Ismay changed its name to Joe in honor of the legendary sports guy who was traded that year to what team? 
founded as the Dallas Texans in 1960. Hmm. Think about that one, ladies and gentlemen. Montana. Not what I'm looking for. I read it again. In 1993, not, uh, nope. 1993, the town of Ismay changed its name to Joe in honor of the legendary sports guy that was traded that year to what team? Founded as the Dallas Texans in 1960. Cowboys, Astros, Giants, wrong. Chiefs, that's the correct answer, yes. The Kansas City Chiefs. Tanner Heiglin, five points to you. And of course, the Jazz Fingers. That's right, the Dallas Texans in 1960, um, they moved to Kansas City, Missouri, and became the Chiefs. So way to go, Tanner Heiglin, knowing your sports ball, and of course, getting five points for that. 49ers, great guess, but I still think they're in San Francisco, so can't give you the points there, Chinesky. All right, two questions down, three more to go. Nine points given to two players, but we still want that big black seven. Will it happen? Let's find out with spin number three. We want the seven, but Tanner and uh, Treats Up Lover want kind of smaller numbers. Let's spin. Round and round the wheel goes where it stops. Hopefully somewhere good. Could be seven. Could be seven. Oh! Too much mustard. Question number three will be worth one. Here's what that means. Treetop Lover, you can go to five. Tanner Heiglin, you can go to six. Everybody else, you're trying to get on the scoreboard. Hands on your typing devices, and here comes the clue. Ahem. Producers of a late 1960s superhero TV show had plans for Clint Eastwood to be featured as what villain opposite Adam West's Batman? Hmm. Not the Riddler. <laughs> I'll read it off again. Producers of a late 1960s superhero TV show had plans for Clint Eastwood to be featured as what villain opposite Adam West's Batman? Not Penguin, not Joker. Hulk made me laugh. It is not the Riddler. Clint Eastwood, featured as Two-Face. That's the correct answer, yes. Clint Eastwood would have been Two-Face had um, they had the, 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 um, the means to do so back in the uh, late 60s TV show. So way to go, Mr. 1500. Two-Face, correct answer there. A big one point for getting that question correct. And of course, the Jazz and the fingers and in comes the other correct answers yep two-face harvey dance would have also been an acceptable answer but two-face correct answer there one point for mr 1500 for getting that question correct and honestly i don't even know if the producers even thought of mr freeze but we all know that arnold schwarzenegger really nailed that roll down to a t yeah still want someone to get to seven it could happen with question number Four in tonight's game of five questions. Spin number four. Spinner finger, don't let me down. Round and round the wheel goes. Where it stops, we want a big number. Doesn't look like seven, but it could be five. It could be five. It's five. Okay. Question number four is worth five points. Here's what that means. Mr. 1500, you can go to six. Treetop Lover, you can go to nine and win. Tanner Heiglin, you can go to 10 and win. Everybody else, you're trying to get on the scoreboard. Question number four is worth five points, hands on your typing devices, and here comes the clue. Ahem. Following the wheeling conventions of 1861, Quest Virginia became a U.S. state during the Civil War. What other land mass, once a part of the Spanish Empire, became a state during the Civil War? Hello, Brendan Alves, great to see you. 
New Mexico is wrong. I'll read it off again. Following the Wheeling Conventions of 1861, West Virginia became a U.S. state during the Civil War. Not Arizona, not Florida, not Texas. What other land mass, once a part of the Spanish Empire, became a state during the Civil War? Utah, wrong. Colorado, wrong. Florida, wrong. California, wrong. Utah, you raw, you wrong. Tennessee, no. Uh, Landmass, once part of the Spanish Empire, became a state during the Civil War. Five seconds. Florida, wrong. Wyoming, no. Nevada, that's the correct answer. Yes, Nevada, a mason jar, just beating Julio, zero, with that correct answer. Let me make sure that no one else had the correct answer. Yes, Nevada is the correct answer. Mountain Mama, nah, nah, not a quite rhyme for our Nevada, but Nevada, correct answer there, a big five points for a mason jar, jazz fingers to you. <laughs> as far as we know, Mexico is still mad at us because of someone said something about building a wall and some other words that I won't repeat right about now. But the words I will repeat right now, question number five. It's here. We need a spin, a big spin for most of you to win. Let's see what happens. And as always, if you enjoy the five questions, our next game will be Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, or whatever time that is in your time zone. Round and round the wheel goes. We need at least a two for someone to win tonight's game of five questions, but a three will be better. Okay. Question number five is going to be worth three points, ladies and gentlemen. Tanner Heiglund, you can go to eight and win. Treetop Lover, you can go to seven and win. A Mason Jar, you can go to eight and win. Everybody else, you're trying to go out with a bang and block. So we could have a winner, we could have a block, but someone might get this question correct. Question number five is worth three points, ladies and gentlemen. Hands on your typing devices, and here comes the clue. Ahem. Currently the 12th highest grossing film of all time, Captain America Civil War began principal photography in 2015. In Georgia, under what working title? which is also the name of Earth's first artificial satellite. Hmm. Think about that one, ladies and gentlemen. Not Avengers. Currently the 12th highest grossing film of all time, Captain America Civil War began principal photography in 2015 under the working title of Sputnik. That's right, Sputnik, Minnie's Bar VK, just beating Treetop Lover. Oh, and laying down a successful block. Minnie's Bar BK just beating Treetop Lover and Mr. 1500 and Julia Heiglin with the correct answer. Yes, um, before it was known as uh, Captain America Civil War, it was known as Sputnik in order to um, not get people interested in what's filming and stuff like that. So way to go, Minis Bar BK, three points for you. More importantly, a block. And that does it for tonight's game of the five questions. Did you all have a great time tonight? I know I had a great time tonight. And of course, I want to say a good uh, big thank you to all 10 of you for watching the game and of course having a great time. We'll be back on Thursday night with five more questions for your enjoyment. Eloise, have a good night. I will see you uh, next time, Eloise. And we'll see you next time for five questions with me, Craig Reed. Thanks again for playing, everybody. And if you really enjoyed the five questions, there is the Venmo and Cash app. Game Show Craig is the username. Also, I'm on all the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, um, the other one. I don't remember. Give me a follow. We'll be back on Thursday night at 8 with five more questions for your enjoyment. Until then, have yourselves a good night. Bye for now.